Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. I'm doing a daily psychic tarot reading for you, tuning into the day's energies, seeing what divine messages of guidance come through. Hope you are all happy and healthy. Hope you're enjoying your journey to becoming more and more yourself. Welcome back, subscribers, my soul family, my soul tribe. Welcome in, new subscribers. You are very welcome here. All right. So this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. If you would like a reading where I tune into your specific questions, your specific energies. There's a link in the description box below. It takes you right to my booking page and you can schedule your own reading with me, maybe a coaching session so we can help you develop your own skills, whatever those skills are. I'm going to close the door. My birds are mucho talkative today. Ooh. Love them singing, but sometimes it's a little much. All right, let's get to it. In the past, you were in the energy of the nine of wands in reverse, or there, maybe not you, but there is the energy of the nine of wands in reverse. Stubbornness, rigidity, rigidity defensiveness, refusing compromise, giving up. Great. What do we need to know about the nine of wands in reverse? Feel like this, um, This energy is like um, coming out of that battle wounded space, but not unscathed. This feels like, um, as I'm tuning into it, it feels like um, PTSD or complex PTSD. I'm not a doctor, but I recognize the, the energy of this. It feels like I don't have any options. going to protect myself I'm gonna uh it's like pushing everybody out of your space uh, I feel a hyper vigilance here worried about who's going to attack next there's definitely that woundedness and feeling cornered No options, no help, no love, feeling very isolated, nothing's working, hard to work, can't make things work. And, oh, interesting, and I can't walk away, and I can't walk away. So that's that stubbornness. I can't, I'm, I'm not going to walk away from something that's emotionally unsatisfying. Something's not working. Something you put a lot of time and effort and no options. So it feels like mentally you kind of trapped yourself. You're like, well, I don't have options. I can't walk away. It's like your um, belief system did not include being able to walk away from whatever, from the abuse, walk away from a situation where you felt like you constantly had to defend yourself. 
uh, a low grade sense of lack of safety. I gotta say, tuning into this energy, um, my uh, nervous system's really jacked up. So I feel like this the, being on pens and needles, having like fried nerves from constantly being in this hyper vigilant. I I feel alone. I feel separated. There's no other choice though. I have to stay here. I can't move away from this. I, partially probably because of all this work that you put into this but there's a belief like I can't leave this, even though it's emotionally unsatisfying. Feels like you were doing the best you could with your emotions, trying to focus on what's yours and what's not yours. You, you feel like a very loving person, very kind, very caring, down on their luck. Nothing's going your way. Everything, it's like the, the same cycle keeps repeating. Here you are, this very loving, open-hearted, generous, giving um, person, very comfortable with emotions, very deep in your emotions, very real, authentic, and also very troubled, very um, feeling unsafe, and that you have no option and stuck repeating this cycle and unable to move away from this, at least that's in the past. So, all right, in present energy, we have the hermit in reverse. So loneliness, isolation, reclusiveness, antisocial attitude, uh, rejection, returning to society. I feel like most of those are true. This energy feels lonely, isolated. And also coming out of this um, feeling separate. What do we need to know about the hermit energy? Okay, looks like um, there's someone in the environment who's helping you feel less lonely, helping you feel um, feel like, well, this is worth coming out of my isolation for, <laughs> like that type of energy. <laughs> Um, this is a person there's definitely fire here, passion and strength. There's an, an attraction here. Wow, both ways. Um feels like there's a lot of happiness with this person or in, in the connection between the two of you. There's a lot of things come to light. You feel brighter. I feel like both of you feel brighter, feel happier, feel joyful, feel, oh, feel seen. This person sees you, you see this person feel like that's very healing, someone seeing you in a, a loving way. 
it helps both of you move to calmer waters. Um, like, oh, I'm not alone. I'm not isolated. I'm, I'm actually connecting with someone who makes me feel very happy. And that helps me realize I'm, I'm moving to calmer waters. I'm no longer in this situation. I, in this mindset, in this unhealed kind of PTSD, CPTSD type of energy where I'm repeating a cycle and I feel very isolated and confused about why I'm so stuck. And here it looks in present time, it's like I'm coming out of this energy of isolation and feeling alone. And here comes this person and I feel very passionate, I feel seen, I feel alive, and it's helping me move to mentally to some calmer waters. Got a, there's a decision, there's, I feel like you're weighing this. I feel like you're weighing this, like trying to decide, even though there's no offer on the table. This doesn't feel like a new, a person that is making any offer or coming towards you. Yeah. Uh, interesting. So this person shows up and there's this amazing communication and it helps you. But then, but then there's like a bit of what now kind of energy, what now? And it doesn't move forward. Okay, this is interesting. And now I feel like there's someone else moving towards you very quickly. So at, that's lovely. It helps you move forward. But then it, it's like, well, that and that's and and that's the end of that chapter, or it doesn't move on. There's no um feel like that's a like a, an event it's something it's just not moving forward at this time at least with that energy but it is lovely energy and it feels very heart opening and healing and wonderful there's another energy in present time coming very quickly with lots of communication Lots of communication about you being independent, successful with your new beginning. This person really coming forward with a lot of messages, messages about how, about your success and being, having this new beginning and being so brave adventurous what else do we need to know about this energy what messages want to come through what do we need to know It's like this person is coming to you with a lot of messages, but they've about your abundance because they're not abundant right now. They're having difficulty creating abundance and moving towards, um, this feels work related. It looks like the advice is to just stay calm, stay um, 
there's something about these messages that might create an emotional response in some of you. And what I'm getting here is to be calm, be grounded, or you are when this person comes forward with all these messages and seeing how uh, your abundance, seeing how what you've been able to create by yourself, this new beginning. And it, um, yeah, I feel like you're going to hear them out. Anything else we need to know? It looks like this person is trying to manifest. This person is trying to manifest you, but you feel very guarded or protected. They can't get into your energy. There's someone who wants to come forward and talk to you. Uh, lots of messages about your abundance and your new beginning and how they're not abundant. You look pretty calm. I wanna say surprisingly calm. So it might even surprise you how uh, capable you are of in your emotions. Feel like it's surprising how, oh, it, I feel like you're a bit detached. And so you're like, oh, wow. Maybe this person at some point had some emotional pull. It feels like they're manifesting you or they're, they're trying and it's very difficult because you are protected. Energetically, it looks like you've protected the bejesus out of yourself. Looks like you have lots of guides around you um, keeping you on task. Anything else we need to know about this? Any other messages from Spirit about? Okay. Okay, this is the first time I really feel that the, the message switches from communication about finances and stability to heart space. This person um, feels like an apology, feels like a little bit too late, I'm not gonna lie. They want to release whatever devil energy, whatever toxicity, or they want to tell you about releasing that energy. They want to talk about how they try to block your healing blocking they wanted to block your ability to heal they wanted to keep you in a tower like a constant tower moment they see how strong you were or are for some of you, this person was in a third party, put you in a third party situation and they're no longer, they want to, um, I don't know, they're communicating about this heartbreak that they caused. They're really in their emotions about the past, like um, what you guys, what you used to have. They want to come in from out of the cold. They feel very separated from you, very isolated from you. And they want a new beginning. They want to take action. And I don't even feel like this is necessarily romantic. There are the six of cups and the page of cups. So I don't feel like this is a lot of love, lovey-dovey, maybe a little 
it feels more like they're um, just communicating where they're at. And yeah. A new beginning. Like maybe uh, a different type of connection. They want to heal the connection. Not that they, I feel like this is who you dealt with in the past. Someone that was very difficult to walk away from, but by, and you, you worked really hard, you didn't see them as an option. but it feels very toxic in the past. Like you were very stuck. It looks like um, in the past, you were more in your feminine energy, receptive and allowing maybe to a toxic point, like over allowing no healthy boundaries. And it looks like between this past energy and the present energy, you have learned how to protect your emotions, to protect your heart, that it is important, that you are important, that you're learning how to love yourself. You've learned how to take care of yourself, take care of your heart. Maybe you gave up the responsibility of your heart, like you can have it <laughs> instead of that's your, that's always your, your job first to take care of self, putting your soul first. No one else is going to. All right. We might come back to that, see if there's any other messages, but let's move on. In the center of your reading, messages from your higher self, nine of cups in reverse. Depression, sadness, things not working out, not receiving blessing. Thing. Let's um, see what written messages are on here. Yeah, unhappiness, lack of fulfillment, disappointment underachievement, arrogance, snobbery. Definitely feeling that um, not achieving, not getting what they want. Uh, this is an energy that's mentally manipulative, lying. But you can't get what you want when you operate in line, not lasting. This is someone manipulative. They're smart. They're very clever. This is someone very intelligent. Good communicator. I heard schmoozing. Able to really um, silver tongued, able to really convince people. They paint, they're very clever at it too. Really good. They don't over share. It feels like they know exactly just with a few words and then the other person fills in the blanks. Pretty clever, pretty sly, slick person. Um, deceptive, but they've, they've honed in. They've really... Um, developed the skill of illusion delusion yeah okay so whoever this is they're not ending a cycle this might be your ex this might just be about anybody who uses manipulation to try to get their dreams coming true, but can't get there from there. You can't have all these loving and dreams 
wish fulfillment from deception, not anything that lasts. What do we need to know about this energy? Interesting. They're receiving some truths. There's an opportunity to see the truth. And until they, oh, until they embrace truth and walk the truthful path, which is painful because you have to see the truth about yourself, about your mind, your emotions, your actions, until they have, see things in a new way they will not have a new beginning. That's what the message is. No new beginnings without seeing seeing things any differently. And whoever this is, they don't see things differently. All right. Your challenge is King of Swords. Staying in the truth, staying in your truth. There's something about King of Cups being in King of Cups and King of Swords energy at this time that is coming out as the advice. Staying grounded, not allowing someone to trigger your emotions or get in your head. Oh, yeah. Feel like this energy has a way of getting into your head. I feel like both of you are looking at some looking back at some timeline, some time when you were very betrayed, unnecessarily aggressive, unnecessarily brutal, cruel. Also, I feel like, um, there's some type of holding this person accountable. I feel like this person wants to ignore. They want to have this new beginning without addressing all the betrayal. And that it's, it's like that bell has been, you ring that bell. You rang it 10 times. And that we're not even bringing up, um, feels like there was someone else in the mix, quite possibly a third party. So it feels like this person is like, they're in victim mode. And what they're sharing is like where they're at is in this really, and it is, they're in a really, they're, stuck they're not having a new beginning their blessings aren't coming in they're financially having a terrible time but it feels like they want to skip over the their actions that led them to like they're not taking accountability and for how well, they got to where they're at. It's like, I don't understand why you got to where I'm at. I'm like, well, one, two, three. Why did you abandon me? I, um, hmm. Self preservation, because it's really hard to live in this environment. <laughs> and the connection was really crowded. 
So um, I feel like your challenge, I feel like this person's really down, honestly, and you're up. Okay. So when your energy was down, I feel like that's where we started this reading, nine of wands in reverse, where you were stuck and no options and working and you can't move away from something that didn't work. So, oh, so at the beginning of this reading, you're stuck. You figured it out and now you're having blessings. People are showing up and you're having these amazing connections. You're moving to calmer waters. This person is now stuck, hurt, confused. It In the past, I feel like, well, you were stuck and confused and hurt. This person was in a better place than you and punched down a bully. They knew they can do whatever they wanted because you were so stuck and unable to defend yourself, unable to fight back. So it was um, a bully. I feel like this person kind of was a bully. They knew they could get away with all this betrayal and hurt. And now that they're receiving their karma, I feel like they are coming to you like needing help. They're wanting you to fix this or something. And I feel like there is a an opportunity for you to be the bigger person to at least listen to them and do no harm. Feel like it might be very tempting to punch down. And then you would be going right back into karma with this person. I'm not saying that you should roll over. I'm not saying anything. I'm just giving you all these the guidance that's coming through and I trust that you'll make the right decision for you and each of you could make a very different decision for yourself how you handle this I think it's less about how you feel about this person in this situation and more about do I like who I am is this the person I want to be moving forward? Is, is this the new me? No, I think I'll leave it there. All right, that's your reading. It feels pivotal. Choices about like who you are becoming and who you're wanting to be. Do you like yourself? All right. Take care. Thanks. Bye.